Today we're going to talk about surge protection, how you can have whole house surge protection and also if you have a pool, how you can also ensure that it's also protected. This is type 2 surge protection and how you know that is it's labeled right on the device itself, type 2. And I'm going to show you two different configurations for type 2. This one is uh, in the, uh, it would go in the wall next to your breaker box. Essentially there's three wires that come out of this that need to be hooked up to your breakers to protect your entire house from surges. It basically takes the hit if there's a surge anywhere on your system and uh, even coming into your system. So it does that and then after a while these actually can wear out. How you know it's protected is that you know both legs are protected when these lights are lit up. In this case they're green. My other surge protector is red when it's lit up. If one of those goes out, that means you need to replace your surge protection device. It's taken a lot of hits. And, you know, I don't know, and depending on your situation, you may never wear it out. But I can look at a glance and I can see if this is protected. So this device um, is easy to wire. You want to make sure your whole house is off. And you can turn it off, usually out near your meter. Uh, I will mention there's a different type of surge protection you can put on your meter and a lot of times those are known as maybe better protecting surges coming into your house, not within your house, but it may offer some protection in that as well. What happens with these three wires is that one goes to the ground and the other two will go to the first two breakers in your box. So in this case, I rearranged my breaker box when I installed this a bit to put two 20 amp breakers up here in the first slot. So what happens is you have these two legs coming into your house of, uh, of voltage and when you add them together that's where you get your your 240 volts. And you need to protect both legs coming in because what happens is one breaker will feed off of one leg, the next breaker off the other and it's every other every other every other all the way down through your breaker box so if you only put a single surge protection breaker in you're only protecting every other breaker therefore you have to pr uh, protect both legs coming in so there's a black wire hot wire that's um, wired into this first breaker in addition to what the load is on it and, and in this case you can see what the load is on on my breaker here and then the other wire comes in to protect the other leg um, the reason why it needs to be here the theory is is that when uh, you if you get a surge um, from outside your house or whatever that's the first area in microseconds that the surges would hit it also protects everything inside of here um, for surges. The third wire would go to your ground bus in here. So it would be wired to the ground. And here's a diagram of that and how you would wire that. So that is whole house surge protection with this type. Quite frankly, the easier one to install is the one I'm going to show you here in a moment. Um, it's simply you would remove uh, two 20 amp breakers and put in a combination breaker and let's go look at that one now because I have an additional one on my pool system that uh, protects everything out there as well so there's some protection to my pool system here because I'm feeding my pool system with this 60 60 amp breaker that goes out there and it's getting some protection in here but I wanted protection, additional protection out at my uh, pump house uh, and the system directly. So there was, uh, so I had even greater protection. And by the way, with surge protection, you can't have too much. So you have these types of devices and then you have the type that you may have behind your TV or computer um, that you can use. And the more surge protection you have, the better. Let's go look at the other one. So I've gone outside to my system. It's a Pentair Easy Touch system. And there's another video of how this is wired, but let's we'll go into more detail on the surge protection in this unit. Never take this off unless you know what you're doing and you shut off your main. And uh, in my case, I can shut off my main 
by pulling that disconnect breaker and everything is absolutely off. So let's take a look at this type. So I'm going to show you this breaker here. This is providing um, protection to my entire system. And it's the same theory and the same principle. When these lights are lit up, both legs are protected. So again, in this breaker box, we're looking at every other leg, every other leg, right? To be um, protecting your both your feeds that come into here from your system, from your 240 source. And that's why it's a double pole breaker. Now, just because you put this in doesn't mean you can't use these. You can use them as a 20 amp breaker and I am using one of these so you could just simply if you have enough slots bump your breakers down and snap this in to your first and second slot the double pole and you're protected no rewiring to do that's why this is so so much easier you may have to knock out a couple of slots in your cover panel to do that but that's the easiest way to do that as you can see I'm not even using one of these is a breaker and I'd forgotten about that but there was no need I had enough breakers because I put this in after the fact and everything was wired but I am using the other breaker so once you snap this in the only thing that you have to wire is the additional wire to your ground bus and that's what this is here it's provided when you get this breaker uh, uh, this white would go to your ground bus and that protects everything as well so this is a Siemens actual, uh, it's made by Siemens. It's a company called Murray under them, or the name under them. I think they may be phasing that out, but it's the same type um, when, when you talk about types of uh, protection um, as the other one. It's just so much easier to wire. So you can also see that it's protected at a glance because it's lit. And so both legs are protected. Now this could also wear wear out if it got too many hits or surges. Um, so it's good to know at a glance that it's protected. So if you're looking for whole house surge protection, um, knowing that I put in these two configurations, the one in the house where you had a separate unit, have to take the panel off and, and mount it and everything versus this one, I would prefer this type, but it's because it's so easy to wire. What you can do is you can just rearrange your breaker box. A little noisy, scared me. Um, the, the pump came back on. You can rearrange your breaker box to take out two breakers and make sure that the first two slots have this breaker in it, and then you can reuse those as breakers. Just because this device is in there doesn't mean anything. You, these work as breakers, normal breakers. Easy way to protect your system. Now I was having issues with surges coming in from somewhere in my system and um, it was actually I traced it I believe finally to my screen logic system. It was a four wire coming in here and it's that, that's the automation. I had that hardwired to the house and I believe there was brief surges coming in on that and I'd put in some protection in for that. I'd put an actual, an actual additional surge protection in on one of the legs and so I had multiple surge protection in place but it was coming through my low voltage and I even had something on that. Um, so again you can have multiple surge protection devices and the more the better actually because it's going to capture more of the hit more of the load uh, that's coming in that uh, may be more of the source that's coming in that may be uh, causing your issues please like share and subscribe if you've learned something here today I appreciate every subscriber and it, it does make a difference as I'm working to monetization share this to in any forums that you see and uh, appreciate any comments you may give thanks